everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. And today I thought I'd jump on and show you how to make a card using uh, a couple of uh, products from the new annual catalog, the 2022-23 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! So I'm using the Cup of Tea bundle, which is just so pretty. Um, if you are a tea drinker or even if you're not, it's just such a fun a fun bundle and some really pretty designer series paper. And I'm combining it with the Fabulous Frames dies, which is a great set of dies that create frames. So I'm, this card I shared as part of the Frames blog hop that went live today. So if you uh, haven't seen the blog hop, um, take some time to pop over to my blog. Um, the link is underneath this video and check out all the amazing projects. You'll also find the written instructions and measurements and supply list for my card on my blog. So uh, jump over there and grab them if you miss anything. Um, and also jump over there and subscribe to my newsletter or my, my blog so that you can keep up on when I post. And if you're new here um, watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll get notified when I do more videos. All right, let's switch over and I'll show you how I made the card that I shared as part of the blog hop today. All right, so this is the this is the the main products that I'm using. So this is the cup of tea bundle, just so pretty with these teacups. Great sentiments. This lemon is really sweet, and then the flower, or the stems, um, and some some stems that will come out of the the uh, cup cup of tea if you want it. Uh, and then the dies that go along with it that will cut out. Um, so I'm using a combination of these. So these will cut out these tea cups as well as there is this great detailed one that kind of matches the, the stamped one. Um, tags and sentiments and all sorts of other ones. You can cut this great, these lemons out. Um, all right, so that's the cup of tea bundle. And then this is the fabulous frames bundle. And I know I've showed this before, but these are great dies these cut kind of um, corners for your cards and then these all cut frames so they cut I'll show you I've already gone ahead and cut this one out this middle one which is what I'm using and you can see that it cuts this great frame as well as the inside and then the same with with um, these two this is an oval with a creates a frame and then a rectangle uh, so it's really a great way to create a frame, quick and easy frame, without doing the muss and fuss. Okay, so those are the main pro products that I'm using. Now let me bring in my supplies. So as I said, I've already gone ahead and cut out that. I have got a piece of Starry Sky uh, cardstock that I've cut four and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to go ahead and score this at five and a half. So if you typically use card bases that are five and a half by eight and a half, that works just fine for this card. Um, I don't know. I tend to be a tent style card maker. And so I tend to go for four and a quarter by 11. But if you're using the five and a half by eight and a half, that's perfectly fine. And you would score that at four and a quarter. So I've scored it as I always do with my trimmer because I really like that score line. Um, fold into the mountain or the raised line. And always use your bone folder just to create that good crease on your card. There we go. All right, so that's Starry Sky. Then I went ahead. Isn't this fun designer series paper? There are so many. On the back side is, um, I think that's Sweet Sorbet. Um, but on the front, this side that I'm going to use has got Starry Sky and Sweet Sorbet and Garden Green. A little bit of uh, Mango Melody in there. So that's going to be my main kind of the... the front of my card. So I'm just going to use, you can use whatever your favorite adhesive is. I'm just going to use the liquid blue. Try not to get it all over my fingers. <clears throat> there we go. And adhere that down. Isn't that pretty? This, um, I think it's called Tea Boutique, is the designer series paper. It's the sweet name. Um, has some great designer series paper in it. All right, so that's my card front or start of a card front. Now, I am going to just use this. The This is a frames blog hop. So there's my frame. And I'm just going to adhere this down flat. You could, you could pop it up. You could use um, the adhesive foam strips and just cut them to size. You would have to trim them a little bit, but you could use those. Um, I could have actually, if I'd wanted to, used a piece of the foam, um, adhesive foam sheets and 
cut um, that would have cut the frame out and I would have hopped the whole thing up but I'm just gonna put this flat and then I'm gonna make the the rest of the the elements on my card kind of the focal so there's my frame um, for the front of the card okay so now it's a matter of doing some stamping and cutting out all right so I've got some scraps of sweet sorbet and I've got some basic white scraps. So let's get what we need. We need this great striped um, uh, cup. <laughs> the word was lost on me. All right. And we also need these great leaves. They're just so pretty. And then I need the stamp that says it's time for tea, which is this one. And I'm going to also stamp this tag. Get a little block here. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to use um, Starry Sky and I'm going to stamp a teacup in Starry Sky. There we go. It's a pretty color. And then I'm going to stamp my tag in Starry Sky too. I'm just going to stamp that right there on the edge. Okay, so that's my stamping with Starry Sky. Now let's bring in Garden Green. If you're not a Garden Green fan, oops, I forgot to uh, stamp this. Okay, let's bring Starry Sky back in. I forgot to stamp my sentiment on my little tag. Let's get it going the right way. There we go. It's time for tea. All right, now I want to stamp two of these. Now, I really need to re-ink my, my garden green, but I'm just going to, it's just a little bit, not quite as crisp, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's good for this card. When I finish this video, I will re-ink my garden green. Okay, so now let's, um, let's do some cutting out. Actually, yeah. let's bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine in. Get these, just move these out of the way. Out of the way. All right, so I need that plate, that plate, and oh, I'm missing a plate. All right, grab a plate. Here's my other plate. All right, so let's put these, this one here. I need to get some new plates. These are, I've used them so much. All right, so let's bring this in. Now I have misplaced the die for this. There is a die that cuts out that. I have misplaced it. And so I'm gonna fussy cut that um, when we're finished. And let's put, now, I have got some, oh, no, I dropped that dies. That's why I misplaced dies, because they tend to go on the floor easily. So let's put that there. Now, uh, you could use uh, washi tape. I've got some post-it note tape, so I'm just going to put this on to hold this in place. There's a little dot here at the on the stem and so if you it's easy to line up the you know the main part of the um this the leaf or the stem um leaf i guess it is uh but sometimes you miss the little you know the, the stem part and so um there is a little hole in the end of this stem and then if you see the green through it that means it's lined up with the end of the stem which really helps when you're trying to cut these out. Okay, so that's that. And we have one more of the leaves to cut out. So we just take that off. And we can reuse the same washi, yeah. same post-it note tape. You can use washi tape. You could use a post-it note, whatever you got that helps just hold that in place. And that's one more. All 
All right, there's that. We'll put this off to the side. Okay. Save those bits because I can reuse them later. Isn't that fun? I just love that striped, the striped uh, teacup. Save that, save that. Okay, so now let's bring this back in and start putting, oh, I forgot to cut a couple of pieces out. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna cut one of these out um, and one of the detailed um, dies. So if you have, um, if you have uh, uh, adhesive sheets, you can use that and adhere onto the back of this piece. Let me bring in my machine again. Um, but I'm going to use just liquid glue to adhere my my detailed die cut. But if you've got the adhesive sheets, that works really well to uh, put on before you cut it out. And then when you go to adhere it, uh, it just peel off the backing of the adhesive sheets and it sticks very easily. But I didn't think about that before I got ready for my video. So we will just use liquid glue. There we go. I think I've got everything now. Okay, so I've got that, I've got those. Those dies out of the way. All right, so we're just gonna use do tone on tone with this, um, this other teacup in sweet sorbet. So I'm just gonna poke the, the bits out. It's just so fun, this, this one. I really love this teacup. You could use a different color if you want. As I said, I'm just going to uh, use some liquid glue. Let's bring in my silicone mat so I don't get glue all over my grid paper. And I'm just going to kind of put some liquid glue, not all over, but just in spots so that at least all the sections have glued down. There we go. I think I've got enough glue on here. Try not to get it all over my fingers and then we will just adhere this down on there just to give a bit of detail onto this other cup okay so now let's bring in our card base things going out of the way all right so let's put this cup If you wanted to, you could actually cut, I should have probably cut a couple more of these, but that's okay. I'm just going to put one, one leaf in each. Um, you could have cut two, two um, of the leaves and put two in each of the cups, but we will just do one. So I'm going to adhere this one down flat, just using some liquid glue. And let's take this and figure out where we want our leaf to come out. So maybe like that. So he'll go on like that. That holds, oopsie. It's a good side and the bad side of the liquid glue. It, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, but it also will shift a little bit. So that's why I tend to hold it down a little bit more. All right, so I just want that to go like that. So that's glued on. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to use um, dimensionals to pop up this sweet sorbet card and put one over top of the of the um, the stem just to kind of help hold that this leaf in place on the back side of the, the cup. And like that. Okay, there we go. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna do is now, like I said, there is a die that cuts this out and I have gone and misplaced it. Can't be far, I used it yesterday. So I'm just gonna go and fussy cut this out. It's pretty easy, straight cutting. I need to get down on my hands and knees and with my magnet and see if I can find it. Cause no doubt that that's what's happened is it's fallen and I, didn't realize it. All right, so there we've got, it's time for tea. 
and I've got a little bit of linen thread. I'm just going to cut maybe three inches or so. You don't need very much. That's probably even way more than you need. And using a glue dot, let's put a glue dot just on the back. So one end of a glue dot and we're going to put that on the back of this and we'll adhere this down with a dimensional. Again, put that over top of your linen thread will help hold, hold that in place. There we go. So wherever you, oops, there it is. There we go. So we'll just put it on like that. Now I'm going to take another piece of another glue dot and I'm going to stick this on just there. As I said, three inches is way more than you need. You actually probably only need about an inch or an inch and a half. And I'm going to trim that because I don't need that much. And using your take your pick tool, just kind of fold this behind and stick it down so that it looks like you've got the tea bag hanging out of your, I don't know if you can see that. So you've kind of got the little, the little piece of, uh, of linen thread makes it look like the tea bag holder. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to stamp the striped the striped um, teacup on the inside of my card, just down here in the bottom corner. And we will adhere that to the inside, Oops. little bits of the card. So there are lots of ways to make frames. Um, but with these new um, fabulous frame dies, it just is so easy. Uh, and the rectangular one creates a really nice large um, rectangular fr um, frame. Now, I thought I had grabbed this. So let's just take and put some of these. If you follow me, you know I've been using these a lot. Um, these are the really fun matte decorative dots. And so let's just kind of brighten this up and put some in Sweet Sorbet. They come in five different shades um, of the, the in color. Um, so we'll just put three on. I've got three large ones. Um, so they come in each of the in colors, five different shades and two different sizes. So they're really a great, a great uh, addition to your... Uh, your embellishment collection. I have used, um, this is my second package because I tend to have favorite colors and I've used uh, used many of the, the colors. All right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, um, the a link to my blog is underneath this video. So if you missed any of the instructions um, or the measurements, just hop out to my blog and you'll find them all there. If you have questions, leave a comment underneath my this um, video or on my blog and I'm happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you will consider um, the fabulous frames dies as well as the cup of tea uh, bundle and the whole tea boutique um, suite from the annual catalog. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping.